Okay, hi boys and girls. I'm going to read one of my favorite stories, which I do understand now that I say that a lot, but I love books, what can I say? So this book is called No Such Thing, and this is written by Jackie French Collar, and it's illustrated by Betsy Lewin. Wait till you hear the end, the best part. So this is called No Such Thing. Howard loved the old house he and his family had just moved into. He loved all the neat little nooks and crannies and the large windows that nearly touched the floor. He couldn't wait to explore all the funny little closets and the cupboards. He even liked his big old fashioned bed until it got dark. I think there's a monster under my bed, Howard told his mommy when she came to kiss him goodnight. Howard's mommy laughed. This old house is playing tricks with your imagination, she said. You know there's no such thing as monsters. Now be a good boy and go to sleep. Monster's mommy came in to kiss him goodnight. I think there's a boy on top of my bed, Monster told her. Monster's mommy sniggled. Oh, Monster, she said. You know there's no such thing as a boys. Go to sleep now. Howard heard a snarkle. Mommy, he cried, come quick. What is it, Howard? His mommy asked. There is a monster, said Howard. I heard him snorkeling under my bed. Howard's mommy laughed again. You've been watching too many scary movies, Howard, she said. I told you, monsters are only make-believe. Monster heard a sneeze. Mommy, come quick, he called. What is it, monster? His mommy asked. There is a boy, said monster. I heard him sneezing on top of my bed. Monster's mommy sniggled again. You've been reading too many comic books, Monster. I told you boys are only pretend. Howard peeked over the edge of his bed. Mommy, come quick, he cried. I can see his tail. Mommy's, Howard's mommy rushed into his room. She picked up Howard's jumper up off the floor. Howard, she said, I'm losing patience. Tail indeed. Monster picked, peeked out from under his bed. Mommy, come quick. I can see his fingers. Monster's mommy came in. She didn't see anything. I'm sure it was just your pet tarantula. Now go to sleep. Howard decided to take one more look. Monster decided to take one more look. Ah! Howard ran to get his mommy. He's there, he's there. He cried. I saw him looking up at me. Monster went running to get his mommy. He's there, he's there. I saw him looking down at me. Monster's mommy took him back to his room. She lifted him up onto the top of the bed. There, now are you satisfied? Howard's mommy took him to the back of his room. She knelt there on his floor with him to look under his bed. There, are you satisfied now? Howard's mommy tucked him in once more. Now that's it, Howard. If I have to come in here again, you're going to be punished. Good night. Monster's mommy tucked him in once more. I've had it, Monster, she said. If I have to come in here again, you're going to be twaddled. Now go to sleep. Howard put his face in the pillow and he started to cry and he cried and he cried. And Monster put his spider web over his face and he started to wimple. He wimpled and he wimpled. Between sobs, Howard heard a strange sound. It sounded sad. Between wimples, Monster heard a strange sound. It sounded scared. Howard peeked over the edge of a bed and a very sad face looked up at him. Monster peeked out from under the bed. A very scared face looked down at him. Were you crying, Monster asked. Yes, said Howard. Were you wimpling? Yes, said Monster. Why, asked Howard. Because I'm afraid of you, said Monster. Boys eat little monsters. Eat little monsters? Howard tumbled back on his bed and laughed. He laughed and he laughed. Where did you get a silly idea like that, he asked. Boys don't eat monsters. They don't? Asked Monster. Of course not, said Howard. Then he stopped laughing. <gasps> but monsters eat boys. Are you going to eat me? Monster started to sniggle. He sniggled so hard that he rolled back onto the floor and kicked his feet up in the air. 
Monsters eat boys. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard of. Where'd you get a crazy idea like that? Did your mommy tell you? Uh, no, my mommy says there's no such thing as monsters. Monster, stop laughing. Really, he said. My mommy says there's no such thing as boys. She never believes me when I tell her I hear boy, whist, boy noises at night. I know, said Howard. Mine never believes me either. Howard and Monster sat slowly shaking their heads when suddenly Howard started to smile. Come here, he said. He leaned close and he whispered into Monster's ear. And Monster sniggled and he nodded. Monster crawled on the top of the bed. Howard crawled under the bed. Oh, Mommy, they both called together. Mommy, come quick. <gasps> so what's going to happen when Mommy, the monster's Mommy, comes in and finds the little boy and the monster? So whoever you're with today, if you're with Grammy or with Mommy or your big sister, I want you to tell them what do you think would happen if you call your Mommy in and now there's a monster on your bed. I hope you enjoyed the book. Good night. Bye-bye.